Already right, back again. Uh, prediction video, at least preview and prediction video for Game Three. The Milwaukee Bucks come to Little Caesars Arena and take on the Detroit Pistons Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be on ESPN and also Fox Sports Detroit. For people that's looking for the game, um, but yeah, let's talk about it. We got whooped in the first couple games. Bad in the first game, not so bad compared to the first game and the second game. But um, it's the first playoff game in downtown Detroit for the Pistons. Yep, the Little Caesars Arena. First playoff game in Little Caesars Arena. Um, the Pistons, in only two years downtown, I believe it is, have had a home playoff game um, before the Pistons. Lions had one at Ford Field. And they've been at Ford Field since, what, 04, 03, something like that. So that's that's a uh, some good good look for the Pistons, but um, obviously we got Giannis once again. They up two zero on us. The Little Caesars Arena should be rocking. And one thing we know about home games, and one thing we know about road games, your role players play like role players on the road. You know what I'm saying? And your role players at home play like stars. So you get to sleep in your own bed, eat eat in your own area. You at home at Shore Arena. It's a huge difference in playoff time. So yo yo uh, Middletons and you know your Ilya Sovas or maybe your Bledsoe's and Brook Lopez. They they usually guys like that usually don't play that good on the road. That's what kind of separates you know role players from like stars. You know maybe all stars. Is you know stars, all stars, superstars, stars, whatever you want to label them, they play good wherever. They can go on the road and, and drop fifty or drop or have a career game like that. Role players, you lucky to get you know average uh, contributions from them on the road, you know. But you have your exceptions, your James Posey's, your Antoine Walkers with Miami. Gary Payton, he was more of a role player, older with, with Miami. So you do have your, your exceptions right here in Detroit. Carlos Williamson, Mimmin O'Core, Lindsey Hunter, uh, Mike James. I mean, Tayshawn Prince. You got your exceptions. But really, do we know if Milwaukee's role players are, are really that good? It's a question still about how good if Eric Blesso, when the going gets tough, will he shrink or will he uh, rise to the occasion? And obviously, we may never find that out. And we may not find that out in this series. But come next year, if they play Boston, who just went, went up 3-0 today, we could find that out, you know. So, for the Pistons, they role players as far as, which is everybody besides Drummond, which Drummond is a glorified role player in some scenarios because he yet to have a good game in this series. Foul trouble, ejection the first one. Second game, he had an okay game, but he really ain't had that breakout 2020 type game for him. So, really, you know, this should be energizing to, to Drummond. Drummond should have a really, really good game come game three in Little Caesars Arena. He should lead the charge. Obviously, it's hurting that he don't have Blake out there. It's hurting us that we don't have Blake out there. But pretty much, you should get a better effort. I mean, an even better effort on top of Reggie Jackson, who just suffered, who just celebrated a birthday, I think, a couple of days ago. Um, Luke Kennard, once again, I'm going to talk about him. You should get some 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 uh, better production out of him. And, you know, the list goes on and on with the whole team. But those are the three I'm looking for, Jackson, Kennard, and, and drumming and uh, ish off the bench. Those are the guys I'm looking to get production from. If, you know, Ellington not going to shoot the ball the way we need him to and Robinson is not going to bring that energy off the bench, then we gonna, we need we going to need uh, Kyrie Thomas to come off the bench and do something. I think it's, it's good for him. If he got a future with this franchise, why not let him, you know, get it in one time for the one time and get some real minutes in and see what he got, he got, he got on the court. You know what I'm saying? Same thing for Galloway. You know, you might – you want him to get more shots up, but I'm gonna tell you who this game really hinges on today. And once again, the Wayne Casey need to find a way to get Luke Kennard 30 shot attempts. Every play down the court should be called for Luke Kennard damn near to shoot the ball or make something off the dribble, coming off the curls, coming off the pick. He should be the primary decision maker, running off screens, catching, shooting. Luke Kennard is the guy. If he gonna get hot, if one guy gonna get hot for the Pistons and drop 40, 50 points, it's gonna be Luke Kennard. His jumper is so sweet. Um, he able to he able to score and shoot. He able to make shit happen off the dribble, make shit happen in the lane, mid range, sharp shooter from outside. He is going to be the the main character. He gonna be the main character while the Pistons win this game, and along with a, a dirty man's effort from Dre, getting the getting the getting the uh, rebounds, getting putbacks, 
uh, playing strong in the paint, strong rebounds, defending the bucket. That's what you're going to need. A strong, dirty man's work, uh, a dirty man's uh, effort from Dre. You're going to need an even stronger effort from Luke Kennard. That's the I'm on that Luke Kennard need to get 30 shot attempts up. We need him to be a volume scorer, a volume shooter. And that's just my personal opinion. We need Reggie to play well, too. But we also, you get Luke Kennard and Drummond really, you know, getting things working between them. They scoring. Kennard getting in the paint, scoring the floater, mid-range, drumming, cleaning it up, getting the putbacks, getting oops from Reggie. Then it opens stuff up. Well, then they got to pay attention to Luke Kennard. That opens up open shots for Reggie. That opens up shots for Galloway. It opens up shots for Ellington. So that's how I look at it. And then on the defensive end of the court, um, there's just no answer for, for, for Giannis Antetokounmpo, whatever his name is. There's just no, there's no answer for him. But obviously, you got to make it tough on him. You know, he come off, he get the ball, you got to trap him, elbow him when he off the ball, you know, wear him down with, with good body contact. You can't be as physical as you could 10, 15, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, but you got to be physical. You know, you got to bump him. You got to really go at, go at him, even on the, uh, he on the defensive end. Really go at him. You know, try to get him in foul trouble, you know, but – you can't just let him rule on the offensive side of the ball and not make him work on defense. But then again, you got to stop him. Make Middleton beat you. Make Bledsoe beat you. Make the McConaughey, whatever his, the guy off the bench beat you. There's no Brock in the series so far. And make Ilya Sullivan, make Miracic and Brooke Lopez beat you. Try to stop Giannis. Double, trap him. And if the shooters beat you, they beat you. You're playing with house money. You're a team that don't even look like you belong. The Pistons legitimately look like the worst team in the playoffs they look like they just, you know, apply for the wrong position. And that's just my humble opinion on it. But you know what? Try to get one. Try to win your first playoff game in Little Caesars Arena, downtown Detroit, and sometime. Do play with pride. Do it for the city. And I think that's very, very important. But it's going to start with Luke and Andre Drummond. It really is. It's going to start with them two. And then Reggie Jackson, then Galloway, Ellington making their shots. But it should be all Luke Kennard tomorrow offensively. Once again. Pin downs, curls, screens, off, off the ball screens. It should be the Luke Kennard show. Let that man get his 30 shots up. If he go 1 0 for 30, so be He's going to lose anyway. Give him opportunity. Get him in rhythm. Get him easy buckets. But defensively, they don't have no answer for Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Try to make him shoot jump shots and uh, pray. You know, try to keep him out the lane and pray. But anybody but Giannis got to beat you tomorrow, especially the majority of the guys around him. Or, you know, even Bledsoe is a glorified role player. Middleton, a glorified role player. Brooke Lopez is a role player. Ilya Sova, Miritich. Now, if Ilya Sova and Miritich can get hot, or Bledsoe start to get the work in. Middleton on the road try to get the work in. Yeah, your ass in trouble. But you're in trouble anyway. You know, but it's going to be a tough one. I think if they can, I think the toughest game to get is the closeout game. But if I think if the Pistons can get this game tomorrow, that, that I think it'll mean a lot for the city. Even if they go on and don't win another game. That would mean a lot for the city if the Pistons are able to to steal this game tomorrow. Uh, well, Saturday, whenever I drop this video. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> I'm going to do the video uh, Friday. But I release it Saturday. So, uh, I don't think they're going to get it done, though. I think it will be a valiant effort. I'm going to say it's going to be a, 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 a 117 uh, to, like, 120. I'm going to say they're going to uh, – uh, I say a 117 and 130 victory, a victory for Milwaukee. I'm going to think the Pistons going to play hard. I think Milwaukee going to pull down the stretch in the fourth quarter. You know, Milwaukee feeling good. They looking like the best team in the East. But obviously, you know, most people's opinion, they got the worst opponent without Blake Griffin playing for the Pistons. So, a lot of people said, you know, come in the chat or come in the comment section or just out in the bout or in social media world, say we should have let Miami get in. But, um, yeah, maybe Miami would have did a better job. But if Miami would have won more games, then they would have deserved to be in. So it is what it is, man. We're not going to be apologetic for us getting the playoffs. But, um, yeah, I think Milwaukee won 30-117. I think they pulled off, pulled on, pulled off down the stretch, and they looked to close us out at home uh, in game four. But it is what it is, man. But I think Luke Kennard got to get up 30 shots somewhere near there. He our only hope to really go off and really carry us. But, 
It is what it is. I don't expect Blake to play tomorrow. Motor Street Sports Talk. Don't forget you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, a quiet response ship, or a video request. Continue to share the videos. Don't forget you can check out the channel, Goodfellow Sports TV, for more sports, music, entertainment, talking, much, much more.